Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this clear look gas spring laptop mount with tray. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this has a laptop tray, but it also has a visa mount so you can connect a monitor. So it supports 75 by 75 or 100 by 100 millimeter mounting screws. It rotates 360 degrees. It tilts minus 90 and plus plus 85 degrees, supports 15 to 27 inch monitor, height adjustable, it swivels 180 degrees. So let's get this open. Here we have a manual. We have some specs on here too. Looks like they're pretty much the same except here. We have laptop is 11 to 17 inches and weight is one to seven kilograms or 2.2 to 15.43 pounds. So it has some notes here, you'll want to read through those. Here's a diagram showing the different dimensions. We have parts list. So this has two ways to mount it. You can use the clamp or you can grommet mount it. A clamp will clamp to the edge. The grommet will clamp to a hole. This talks about using it with a thickness of zero to 2.36 inches. And this is for 2.63 to 3.35 inches. So it's adjustable. This talks about using the grommet mount. And these are some assembly instructions. It says slide the mount on the arm, tighten the screws to the back of the tray, install the visa plate. It talks about mounting your laptop in the tray, adjusting the height of the arm, adjusting the tension of the gas spring. So you want to make Make sure your laptop or your monitor is attached to the arm. Hold the arm in the horizontal position by your hand. Use the included wrench to adjust the tension of the gas spring. If the monitor tray goes up, turn the screw in the minus direction to reduce tension. If the monitor tray goes down, turn the screw in the plus direction to increase tension. The minimum tension is 3.3 pounds. If your laptop is less than 1.5 kilograms, the gas spring might pop up. This talks about adjusting the angle. This has cable management on it and a place to store the adjustment wrench. This talks about installing a monitor. This also has spacers so you can install it on a curved monitor and there's a screw to lock the monitor on. So here's the laptop mount tray. Here's hardware and tools. Here's the arm. Here's the stand. Down here we have the visa plate and I think that's a tool there. So I'm going to install this on the front edge of my bench here. That's not typically where you would install it, but it's just easier for me to film here. So here's the clamp. It has rubber here and here. There's no rubber on the back or the bottom of the clamp, which is fine by me, but if you do want some padding, you could always add some. This has a nice large screw there to turn. So I'll put this on the edge of my bench. So that's incredibly solid there. Now there's this adjustable clamp here to set the height. I'll just leave it there for now. So I'll take these cable ties off. There's just one long one and that opened up. I'll keep that around in case I need to store this sometime. I can do that. So I'll just turn this a little bit and this will fit over here like so. I'll get out the laptop tray. So the screws for the tray are in the middle here. Here we have the visa plate. So looking at the instructions here, we have these two ovals here and the angled bent part goes opposite of that. So I'll take the visa plate, I'll place it on here. It's going to use the 75 millimeter pattern and I'll put the screws in. Now these screws are knurled so you can finger tighten them. It's probably not a bad idea to use a Phillips screwdriver and tighten them down further though. I'll slide this on the monitor arm now. I'll secure that with the screw. There's one black hex screw here. I'll install that here. So now I'll turn this around and I'll angle this up and I'll pull this out. And now I can put the laptop in here. Now before I do that, I wanna look where the spring tension will be adjusted. So it looks like right here, press this down. It's the largest hex key. So here I have my laptop. It's an early 2015 MacBook Pro. I'll slide it in here. Now these will pull out. So I'll pull them out on both sides. Then I can slide these up also. And it will fold down against the laptop. The other side will fold the opposite direction. So now it's on there. So I'll put the arm in the horizontal position and that's actually incredibly balanced right there. So I can lift it up and I can move it down. I'm not going to attach it to a monitor here but you can see there are long and short screws and some spacers for attaching it to a monitor. So here I have it in the horizontal position. Now I'd never use it in this position, but you can see it's holding it. Now, if you want more ventilation, it has these little bumpers here. Those can slide into these slots here and it raises the laptop up a bit. So I'll install those. So you can see I have space under the laptop now. Now on this, we have cable management that clips on there and you can install your hex keys for adjustment later. 
So this is pretty good right out of the box for me, but if the tilt wasn't tight enough, I could tighten that up, but I'm going to leave it as is. Now this thing here is a plate that clips on under here to help hide the wires. So I'll take my laptop cable and I'll route it through there. So this will clip in the top first and then snap in the bottom. Now if you need to take your laptop cable with you, you're probably not going to want to route it in there, but if you have a second one or a permanent one, then you could route it in there. You can also route cables through here. Now as I'm showing, moving this up and down, You can see my tallest height and my lowest height. You want to adjust this within the range you're going to use it. If you want it higher, you can lift this up. So on a day-to-day -day basis, you would lift it to the position you want, but then you would adjust this so you can adjust the range. So as I said, I don't really want this right here, obviously. I want this on the side of my bench, so I'll move it over there and we'll take a look at it there. Okay, so here I have it on the side of my bench. So you can see I can lift it up, I can move it around, I can extend it out like so then I can move it up or down. I'm going to go take this up and attach it to my standing desk. And we'll take a look at it there. So here it is on my computer desk. You can see here, I can stand and type on this here, or I can move it down and you could use a traditional keyboard and just have it as a raised platform. So this is currently not quite at the lowest position. So I could have it a little bit lower and I could certainly raise it up a lot higher. So you can see it easily moves around so I can move it back or move it forward. The nice thing about this stand is here I've added a laptop to my desk and I have all this space still under it that I can use. So that's the clear look laptop stand with gas spring. So this is a very versatile mount here. You can put laptops on it, you could put a tablet on it. Instead of this tray, you can also just mount a monitor to it. I found it very easy to put together. It was almost completely assembled. It also has a very nice clean look to it and it's super sturdy. I think this is a great way to mount a laptop to your desk. It gives you lots of adjustability so it can make it easier to use. Also, you could move your screen around so you're not looking at it at the same position. So if you have neck pain, you could move your computer up and down or to the side just to mix things up a bit and like you can see here you could have it down low and have it up for standing so if you're considering a standing desk this might be another alternative where i'm probably going to permanently install this is on my bench near my 3d printer my 3d printer sits behind the computer if i have it on this arm i can easily swing it out of the way to access the 3d printer so it'll be super convenient so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye